Hello everybody, welcome back to American Textbook Reading. I'm Brian Stewart. We're on Lesson 11 today and we're talking about goods and services. Very important lesson. Um, you will discover in this lesson that people meet their wants and needs. So what are things that you want? What are things that you need? As we will discover in this lesson, there are basically two types, goods and services, and we can see pictures of both. Here we have a bicycle. Is that a good or a service? That's a good. And then here we have somebody who delivers our mail, gives us our mail. Is that a good or a service? That's a service. Let's find out more. In fact, we're going to talk about goods at the beginning. Goods, by the way, you can use goods as singular or plural. You can say a good or you can say many goods. So you can say good or goods. Now these are all goods, right? Goods are really objects. Goods are things that people buy or use. So remember, goods are objects. They're physical things that you can hold. You can put them in your bag, right? You can carry them in your pocket if they're small enough, right? But don't carry scissors in your pocket, of course, but you can put other things in your pocket. So paper, uh, paint brushes, paint, scissors, pencils, these are all goods. They are all objects. They are all things that we buy or use that we want or need. So those would be goods, physical objects. That's different from a service. And again, service can be singular or plural. We can also say services, right? There are many services. So when we talk about the economy or we talk about uh, the, the idea of things that we need or want, we can break them down into goods or services. A service is work. It's not a thing. You cannot hold a service. You can't put a service in your backpack. You can't put a service in your pocket. Service is work that other people, that people do for others. So it's work that other people do for you. And of course, you give them something in return, maybe money, or you do something uh, for them, but those would be services. What service is going on here? It's hair cutting, like a, a person who cuts your hair. They're not giving you a good, it's not a good, it's a service, it's work. So basically two main things we're talking about in this unit. Goods, which are objects, and services, which is work. Okay, so those are the two main things, uh, two very important concepts in this unit. Okay, when we talk about goods and services, like I said, you know, if somebody works for you, you give them something. What do you give them? You give them whatever the price for their service is or the price for the good. If you go into a store, there's a lot of goods. You have to look at the prices to understand how much it costs. Price, the amount of money that you have to give to buy something. So if you want to know the price, you can ask how much, how much does it cost. How much does it cost? And that is the amount of money. The amount of money is the cost. How much does it cost? Ulmayo, right? Ulmayo. How much does it cost? That is the price. What is the price is another way, but it's more common to say how much does it cost? And you're talking about the price. So you can see the price on the goods in the store. And that is the amount of money that you have to give the store to buy something. If you want these apples, you have to give them the amount of money that's on the price uh, here. By the way, you see in the store there are many price tags. That's another important expression to remember. A price tag. That is a tag, especially on clothes. When you buy clothes, there's a price tag. It says, how much is the shirt? How much are those jeans? that you look at the price tag. It tells you the amount of money. Okay, now, when we're talking about goods and services, of course, you want to exchange those. One person wants them, another person wants to give them away. But you don't give them away, and you don't take them. You sell them or you buy them. In this case, we're talking about sell. Sell means 
to give something for money. Be careful. If you just say to give, I will give it to you, that's for free. That's no money. To give means for free. For example, if I say, oh, do you want this key? I will give you this key. That means there's no money. But if I sell you the key, that means I want you to give me money for it, right? I'm not just going to give you the key. I want something in exchange for that key. In exchange. I want something in exchange. That means I'm like giving you something, you're giving me something. Usually the seller will give the object, the buyer will give money, right? You give money. And that, of course, is what we're talking about here. Sell is like in Korean, you say, palda, right? Palda. Is my Korean okay? <laughs> is that okay? Palda. That's to sell. You give something, the other person gives you money. That's sell. What's the opposite of sell? Pandero. How do you say that? That, of course, is to buy. You buy something. In that case, you want something. So now you give the money and the other person gives you the object. Okay? So that means to get something by giving money for it. Okay? So of course, buy is sada, right? Sada, to buy. So you're going to buy something. Now it's interesting, of course, we just talked about sell, we talked about buy. We can talk about the people involved in both. We have a seller and we have a buyer. So if you are giving an object and you're taking money in return, you are the seller. But in this case, if you are giving money and getting an object in return, you are the buyer. Usually we are the buyers, right? There are many more buyers than there are sellers, right? A grocery store is one seller, but many buyers go to that store. Okay, so we can say seller and buyer along with sell and to buy. Are those the only two ways that we can get goods and services, either by selling or by buying? Those are the only two things? There's one more thing we can do, and that is to trade. This is an interesting idea. Before we talked about sell and buy, we're talking about money, right? But in trade, there's no money. To trade means to give someone one thing and get another thing from them. In this case, they're exchanging or they're trading balls. He wants the blue ball, he wants the red ball, so they switch. Imagine you're eating lunch with your friend at school. You have a ham sandwich. Your friend has a cheese sandwich. You say, hmm, I will trade you some of my ham for some of your cheese. So you give the, your friend half, half of your ham, not all of your ham, but half of your ham, and your friend gives you half of his cheese. Now you have, you both have a ham and cheese sandwich, right? Because you traded objects. When you trade objects, no money involved, then you are trading, you are exchanging objects. So there's sell, buy, and trade. Those are the three things we do with goods and services. Okay. Now, to pay is very similar when we're talking about to buy or sell. When you say you're going to pay, that means you give money for something. So who gives money? Who pays? Of course, a buyer pays money to the seller. So the buyer will give money. They are paying for the good or service to pay for something, to pay for something. So this is very commonly used in this way. I will pay for it. I will pay for lunch, especially if you want to treat your friend to lunch, right? I will pay for lunch. I will pay for this shirt. So you pay for something means you give money in exchange for something else, okay? Now, to grow, we're talking a little bit different here. Grow, it means just to raise plants or animals. Do you have a pet at home? Maybe you have a pet dog, maybe a cat, perhaps a hamster. If you have one, you are growing that pet 
or your, uh, that pet is growing, of course, you're raising the animal. Of course, you usually say raise animals, and you say grow plants. This boy here is growing some plants at his house. Farmers grow plants for food, and of course, then they sell those plants, uh, of course, at the market. Now, compare is very important when we're talking about buying and selling. Because when you go to the store, you have many different kinds of apples or many different kinds of whatever product. You want to compare those different types of things. Compare means to see how things are different or similar. When we talk about compare, you're looking at the differences and the similarities, right? That is part of comparing something, right? You're seeing how they are different or how they are similar. In this case, this woman is looking at an orange or an apple, and she's got to compare. She's got to think, well, which one do I want? Which one maybe is healthier for me? Which one tastes better? Which one do my children like more, <laughs> okay? If you go to the store, you see many different kinds of apples. You can compare the size, uh, the color. You can also compare, very important, you compare the price, right? So you compare prices and you see, oh, these apples are less expensive than those apples. You're comparing and maybe you want to buy the apples that don't cost so much, okay? That you don't need as much money for. So that's very important. Many people do that when you go to the store and you should always do that. Compare prices, right? Compare prices to find out which one you can buy and you can buy easily. Compare prices is very common. Okay, we have our chart here and you can see our two main ideas are in this chart. We have goods, objects, things, and we have services, work that people do uh, for other people. Let's take a look here. What are the types of goods that we have? Of course, this sentence unifies, ties both of them together. People meet their wants and needs with goods and services. So what kinds of goods are there? First of all, there's a home. That's a very, very expensive type of good, right? But it is a good. Property is a good. Home, land, that's a, a good. It's property. Home is a good. A car is a good. A book, if you want to read a book, you go to the bookstore and you buy a book. It's a physical object, something you can hold, you can touch it. It's a good, it's a book. Food, you can touch it, you can hold it, you can eat it. <laughs> it's food, it's a good, it's a physical object. These are all goods. Down here, these are services. You can't touch or hold or eat services, right? Services are work that people do for you. What types of services are there? We can see that the one type of service is a mail carrier. So, of course, it's a service that other people do for you, right? You don't want to go to your friend's house in another country and get the mail from them yourself, right? No, other people will deliver it to your house for you. Let's take a look at a video here. This, of course, is a mail carrier. Now that's kind of a strange mailbox. It's a very big mailbox. Usually mailboxes are smaller, but this person is taking the mail from the house, right? Putting it in the bag, taking the mail away, and this person will deliver it to somebody else. So maybe this is a business because this is such a big mailbox, but usually mailboxes are smaller. And you put your letters or uh, whatever you want to send in your mailbox, the mail carrier will come and take it and they will leave mail from other people for you. And of course, that's a service. So that's mail carrier. Another very common service, maybe you use every day, right? If you take a bus to school, somebody has to drive the bus. That's a service. That is work that they are doing for you. You don't drive the bus, you're too young, right? Somebody else drives the bus for you. So a bus driver provides a service. A doctor, very important service, right? If you are sick or injured, you go see the doctor and the doctor will help you feel better. That's a very important service. Finally, we have hairstylist. Hairstylist is somebody who cuts your hair or styles your hair. We can see a video here. 
Here's a, a man. He is a hair stylist, and he is styling the lady's hair. Actually, it looks kind of dangerous what he's doing. He's taking the scissors, and I'm not sure what he's doing. Uh, and then he combs out the, the hair, but basically he's styling her hair. She will feel very happy when he is done because she'll have a really cool hairstyle, right? She will look good. And of course, this is a very common service that all of us use in our lives. Uh, probably many times uh, during our lives, we get our hair cut and that is a service. It's very hard to cut our own hair, right? We don't want to do that. So it's work that somebody else does for you, okay? Okay, let's go over the uh, uh, matching the words to the definitions. Here we have our words. They're pretty simple. Let's just go over them very quickly. Goods, service, price, sell, buy, trade. These are our words. Remember, these words are very closely related. These are things that we do with goods or services. We sell them, we buy them, we trade them. And when we sell or buy, we're very interested in what the price is. How much does it cost? So this is a, a good grouping of words here. Let's take a look and see if we can match them to the proper definition. Number one, if you give something, you have an object or you have your work, right? And you give that to somebody else and you take money in exchange, right? So you give something and you get money. What are you doing? Who are you? You are selling. You are a seller, right? So you are selling. You are a seller. You give something and in exchange you get money. Number two, to get something by giving money for it. Now in this case, this is the opposite of number one. This means you want to get something and in order to get it, you will give money for it. So what are you doing? You are buying. And who are you? You are a buyer. Okay? So here you, you are selling, you're a seller. Here you're buying, you are a buyer. Okay, three. Things that people buy or use. Things. Things means objects. You can hold them. You can touch them. You can put them in your backpack or your pocket. They are things that people buy or use. Which one is it? Of course, it's goods. Goods are physical things, things you can touch, you can hold, you can eat them, you can carry them with you. Okay, so those are goods. Let's move on to number four. Number four, we're talking about work that people do for others. Now, this is work. You can't touch or hold or put in your backpack work that other people do for you. In this case, what do we call it? We call it, of course, a service. So service is work that people do for others. It's a service. Number five, to give someone one thing and get another thing from them. So in this case, there's no money involved. You have one object. The other person has another object. You want to exchange. You want to give them your object and they will give you their object. And of course, there's no money involved. So in this case, we call this trade. And this is how people actually uh, exchanged items a long time ago, long, long time ago, before there was money. They would trade things. For example, some one person has uh, a sheep, another person has goats. One person, you know, I want your goat, I'll give you one of my sheep. So they would trade. You trade one thing for another thing. Six, the amount of money. Now here is the amount of money that you have to give to buy something. So when we go into a store and we want to know how much it costs, how much do these things cost, how much money do we have to give the store to buy this thing? Of course, we're talking about the price. And remember what I taught you guys, when you go into a store, especially like a clothing store, you want to buy shoes, you want to buy pants, you want to buy a shirt, look at the price tag. What's the price? That tells you the amount of money that you have to give to the store in order to buy that good. Or service. Of course, services also have prices. Okay, let's move on to our chart here. 
We've talked about this a little bit, right? There's two types of people, right? When you're exchanging goods, when you're buying or selling. I told you guys buyer and I told you guys seller. Let's take a look at the money. Which way does the money go? Which way do the goods or services go? Now a buyer, of course, is giving money to the seller. So the buyer will give money to the seller and the seller will give the buyer goods or services. And we can also use another word here, to provide. Provide goods and services. This is very common uh, grouping of words. Provide goods and services. We also use provide, right? Many stores will provide goods. Many companies will provide services. Okay, and it's very important. That's basically the only two types of things. If you think about everything out there, you can put them into one category or the other category. It's either a good or it's a service. Anything that you can buy out there. This is really a lot of ways how our society works, how our economy works. We all have wants and needs. We need things, we need services. Uh, so how do we get them? We go to a place to get goods or services. It's very interesting. Okay, and that brings us to our quiz where we're going to ask a few short questions. Now, I was just talking about that you can put anything in the world or most things in the world you can put into two categories, goods or services. Remember the difference. If it's a good, it's something that you can touch, you can hold, you can save for later use. If it's a service, you can't touch it. It's work that other people do for you. That's a service. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at each picture, one, two, and three, and figure out is that a good or is it a service? Let's take a look. Number one is a picture of a bicycle. Do you have a bicycle? Many people do. Bicycles are fun to ride. They're also easier to get to places than by walking. Now, a bicycle, think about it. Can you hold it? Can you touch it? Can you save it at your house and use it later? Sure, you can do all of those things with a bicycle. So a bicycle is a thing. It's an object, therefore it is a good. Not a service, it is a good. It's a physical object. Let's look at number two. Number two, this is an interesting picture to look at. There's a man here and what is he doing? He seems to be, you know, hello, you know, welcome. He's going to drive you to another place. Now, it could be a taxi driver, but I think it's a little more fancy. This guy looks like a limousine driver. A limousine drive, whoops, N E. A limousine is a very fancy and expensive taxi. A limousine, uh, driver is someone who will drive you from one place to another. So, he is working for you. Can you hold that work? Can you touch that work? Can you save that work? Take it home and save it for later? No. It's work that he is doing for you, so that is a service. Work that other people do for you is a service. Okay, let's take a look at number three. Now, this woman here, she is cutting the hair of the girl. So what is she doing? She is working. She is providing what for the little girl? Can, you, can the little girl hold that? Can she touch what she's getting there? She can touch her hair, but she can't save that, that thing, that work for later. She has to go back again in maybe another month and get it done again. This, of course, is work that one person is doing for another, so that, of course, is a service. So again, just to summarize, goods are things that you can hold, that you can keep for later use. Services are uh, work that other people do for you. For example, drive you from one place to another or cut your hair. Two types of services. Okay, let's go to our true-false questions. Let's take a look at number one. Trade means to see how things are different or similar. Does that sound correct to you? Trade means to see how things are different or similar. Remember when we talked about trade, that means that I have one object 
and my friend or another person, doesn't have to be my friend, another person has another object, I want their object. They want my object. So we will exchange objects. That's trade. This does not sound right because trade doesn't mean to see how things are different or similar. Trade means to exchange objects with one another. Okay, so this is false. How do we change it? If we change one word, if we change trade, what can we change, change trade to? One word that means to see how things are different or similar. The word that we learned is compare. When you compare things, you are seeing how things are different or similar. And remember I told you it's a very good idea to compare prices when you go to the store to see, you know, which is more expensive or which is less expensive. Number two, a service is a type of work people do for others. So we just talked about that, right, in our mini quiz. We talked about a type of work, service. We talked about the limousine driver. We talked about the hairstylist. They are doing work for others. They are providing a service. So yes, this is a true statement. A service is a type of work people do. Okay, three, sellers pay money for goods or services. We talked about sellers and we talked about buyers. Remember, if I'm a seller, that means that I am taking money and giving an object to the buyer. So does this sound right? Sellers pay money? No, no, that's wrong. Sellers receive money for goods or services. So that's false. We can change, well, we can change it a couple of ways. One way, we can change sellers receive. Sellers, whoops, receive. Sellers receive money for goods or services. That would be true. Or we can change the noun. We can say buyers pay money. So if we change it, either sellers receive money, take money, get money for goods or services, that's true. Or we could say buyers pay money for goods or services, that's true. But sellers pay money? No, sellers do not pay money. Sellers take money. Okay, well that wraps it up for the vocabulary section. Let's take a short break here. We'll come back and take a look at the reading section. Okay, welcome back to the reading section. We're going to be talking about goods and services in this section, so let's get started. Here we have our topic sentence, people buy goods and services to meet their wants and needs. That is our topic sentence. That's what we're talking about in this reading passage. And specifically, we're talking about goods and we're talking about services. Um, we're going to be talking about the differences. What are some examples of goods? What are some examples of services? What are goods? What are services? Let's take a look. Bread, apples, cars, and toys are all goods. Okay, so these are objects as we talked about before. You can get bread. You can feel it. You can touch it. You can eat it. Apples, same thing. Cars don't eat cars, right? But you can touch them, you can feel them, you can use them again and again. Cars and of course toys are the same, are all goods. These are all examples of goods, types of goods. Now then we talk about services. You get services, the other one, uh, when you take a bus. Take a bus because a bus driver is working for you. When you go to a hairstylist, because a hairstylist cuts your hair. Or see a doctor, because a doctor um, takes care of you, cures you. These are all examples of work that other people do for you, so they are services. You get services from these people. People make or grow goods and sell them in stores. So of course people make goods, that would be people who work in a factory or companies that make products such as cars or toys. People grow goods. Who are the people who grow goods? What do we call those people? You probably remember from a previous lesson, farmers. So farmers grow goods, for example, bread, apples, uh, things like that, or wheat to make bread, really. Uh, apples, uh, other types of fruit, meat, those are things that people will grow 
in order to sell in stores. You go to the store to buy them. Okay, they sell services too. People, of course, also sell services. Now, it's interesting, you don't go to the store really to buy services, right? People, there's, there, how do you get services? Well, let's take a look. Uh, they sell services. They, of course, mean people, right? People, sellers, people sell services too. They, these people, sometimes come to you with their services. And that's very common. Perhaps at home, you've heard the doorbell ring, ding dong, and somebody's there and they want to sell you a service. Maybe a newspaper delivery, or maybe they want to sell you, you know, a subscription to some magazine. Uh, but they're selling you a service. A mail carrier delivers your letters to you. So a mail carrier actually is provided by the government, right? And uh, they will come to your house and deliver your mail. Of course, you're paying for it, but when you buy stamps. You have to pay money to buy goods and services. Of course, that is how our economy works. In order to get goods and services nowadays, you pay money for those things. You go to the store with money. If you want somebody to work for you, you give them money. It's not so common to trade things, but people still do that. Much, much more common to buy goods and services with money. You have to pay money. So you pay for your goods or services. When you do this, remember, it's very important. You should compare the prices and quality. Okay? So when you uh, pay for this refers back to the previous slide, when you pay for something, when you do this, when you pay for a good or service, you should compare the prices and quality. I talked about prices, which one is cheaper, which one is more expensive. But you can also, of course, compare quality. Quality talks about, is this a better item than this? Is it uh, an item that will last for a long time? Will it break quickly? Uh, does it look good? What is the quality? Um, usually when people talk about quality, they're talking about how long will it last? Will it break down quickly? If it breaks down quickly, it's cheap, it's no good, it's bad quality. But if it lasts a long time and it's very strong, then it has good quality, right? So you should compare price, how much does it cost, and quality. How good is it? Is it well made or is it poorly made? Now, you can also trade. I mentioned this before. So usually in our economy, we buy or sell things using money. But another way is you can also trade goods or services. Children at times trade their lunch or small chores with each other. So this is an example. This sentence here is an example of trading. And we have two examples actually. One example, trade their lunch. Remember I told you about the ham and cheese sandwich. That's an example. Or you know sometimes maybe uh, one uh, children will say, I have an apple, you have yogurt. I want your yogurt. So you trade, right? You just trade them along. And that you can trade your lunch. That's trading goods, right? That would be trading a good. The second example, small chores. Those are services. You can trade services also. Very interesting. For example, let's say you have to clean your room, but you're, uh, you're very smart, right? And, and your, your sister or your brother wants your help with homework. So what do you do? You say, okay, you clean my room and I will help you with your homework. Now you're trading services, not goods, right? So you can trade two things. You can trade goods. You can also trade services. There's no money involved. We are trading, okay? So that's two examples. So children at times trade their lunch or small chores with each other, okay? So that's very interesting. Now we have our reading skill, compare and contrast. This is a very good uh, reading passage to use compare and contrast because we can compare and contrast goods and services, okay? So we have the differences between the two and we have the similarities between the two here. Let's take a look. We have to fill in these blanks. These are the words we need. Make, pay, wants, sell, and needs. How do these words fit into these blanks up here? Let's take a look. 
people beep or grow goods and beep them in stores. Okay, so that's interesting. We're talking about goods. So what do people do with goods? How do people create goods, right? People make goods or they grow goods, right? So you either make the good like a toy or a car or you grow the good like apples or oranges. And then what did people do? Once they make the good or once they grow the good, they have the good, they want to do what? They want to find a buyer, right? They want to take them to the store and they will sell them in stores. So they will sell those goods in stores. Bread, apples, cars, and toys are all goods. They are goods. So we're talking about goods here. Now what about services? You get services when you take a bus, go to a hairstylist, or see a doctor, right? People don't really make or grow services, right? But they offer them. You get them when you go to these places. These people work for you. They give you their work. They give you their effort. So they are providing you with a service. Let's take a look down here. How are, they this, how are the goods and services similar? People buy goods and services to meet their what and what, right? We're actually talking about that in the unit topic, right? So you, we all have things that we, you know, that we want or that we need. It doesn't matter if you put them. You could switch them around. People buy goods and services to meet their wants and needs or their needs and wants. By the way, what's the difference? What is a want? Some, and, and why is that different from a need? If you say, I want something, that means you just like to have it. It's not necessary for you. But if you say you need something, that is something that you kind of need to live. What are some examples? For example, what is a need? A need is something like clothing. It's a home. It's a love from your family. Those are things that we need to live. We need food to eat. We need those things. What's a want? A want is like a toy. We don't need it, but it would be nice to have. A bicycle is a want. We don't need a bicycle. We could walk or we could take the bus, but a, bus a bicycle is fun to have. It makes our life easier. So a bicycle could be a want, okay? So wants and needs, and these are goods and services. You have to do what with money to buy goods and services? Which one of our words down here fits, right? You have to, of course, pay. You have to pay money to buy goods and services. If you want those things, if you need those things, you have to use money. You have to pay money in order to get those things. Okay, so that's our, our reading skill comparing contrast chart. Let's move on to reading comprehension questions. We talked about a mail carrier before. What does a mail carrier deliver to you? Of course, a mail carrier is providing a service. What are they delivering to you? And what are they taking away from your house? Are they taking money? No, the mail carrier would be very happy in that case. Uh, B, letters, or C, chores? Well, if you chose letters, that's true. Mail, right? Letters is a type of mail, right? Letters and packages are types of mail. So a mail carrier, someone who carries letters and packages and delivers them to you, that is a mail carrier. So they are delivering letters and also packages. Two, people buy beep to meet their needs and wants. So we talked about this quite a bit in just recently, right? People buy what? They have needs, Everybody has needs, everybody has wants. So what do we buy to meet those needs and wants? Do we buy lunch and chores? That sounds strange. We might buy lunch, sure. But do we buy chores? We don't buy chores, that sounds very strange. Chores is what we have to do around the house, right? So we don't buy those, we have to do those. People buy doctors and mail carriers. <laughs> Can you buy a doctor? Hmm, I want to buy this doctor. I'll take him home with me. No, we don't do that. That's crazy, right? We don't do that with mail carriers either. You don't buy people, right? That's, that's crazy. Uh, people buy, you know, people to meet their needs and wants. No. So that leaves us with C. People buy 
goods and services to meet their needs and wants. That is true because that's what we're talking about. Everything that you might want in the world, anything that you might want, anything that you might need is either a good or it's a service. We can break those down. So goods and services are what we are talking about here. Moving on to number three, we have our longer answers here. When you buy a good or service, so when you buy a good or service, what are you doing? You what? You can only buy them from a store. Is that true? Remember we talked about goods. Usually you buy goods at a store, but services, do you go to a store to buy a service? No, usually people who want to sell you a service, they come to you, right? They either uh, come to your house or they might try to uh, attract you by television advertisement, uh, telephone advertisement, or some uh, printed advertisement. They're trying to sell your services to you. They usually come to you. Uh, so you don't go to a store to buy services, right? You can only buy them from a store. No, that's not true. And besides, you can buy goods outside of a store also. You can go directly to a farm and buy goods there, and that's not a store. So A is not correct. B, when you buy a good or service, you should compare the quality and prices. Should, you should do this. It's a good idea to do it. Is that true? Absolutely. As I've told you before, when you buy something, you should compare, especially the price, but also compare the quality, how well it is made. C. When you buy a good or service, you have to trade a good or service for it? No. Remember, buy and trade are different things. When you buy something, you're using money. When you trade, you're just exchanging goods that are similar. So that doesn't make sense. B is our only correct choice for that uh, question. Number four, let's move on there. Some people make or grow goods to sell. Okay, some people make or grow goods to sell. And, well, I'm very curious, what is and? Okay, A, B, and C. And others sell services that people want or need. Okay, so some people make or grow goods to sell. That's true, and we're talking about goods here and others sell services that people want or need. Does that sound correct? Absolutely. We're talking about goods and services, right? How do you get goods and services? You make or grow them. What about services? Other people, they just sell their services. So that's true. Let's look at B and C for practice. B, those people sell those goods only to mail carriers. That's kind of silly, isn't it? Only mail carriers will buy goods? That's strange. No, everybody will buy goods. So that obviously is incorrect. What about C? These goods are all called services. No. Remember, goods are not services. They're different, right? Goods and services are different. We don't call uh, goods services. That is absolutely incorrect. Incorrect. Not correct. So A is the only true answer for number four. Okay. Now we have our chart here. Remember we talked about our chart and of course we're talking about goods and services, our very important concept for this unit. People meet their wants and needs. How do they meet their wants and needs? By goods or services. What types of goods are there? Here we have property, right? We have a place to live. This is a very expensive looking place to live, very nice place to live. What do we call the place where we live? We call it of course a home. Did you see that coming on in there? Okay, home. So that would be a home. Now we have over here, this is of course a good. It's something that your mom or dad drives, something that you ride in. It's very convenient for you. What do we call this here? We call it, watch it come in, whoa, it's a car. We call that a car is another type of good. Over here, you want to read about something. Maybe you want to read about history or you want to read a, a funny story or a good story. What will you buy? You will buy a type of good that is called a book. So you buy a book. Over here, you're hungry, right? You want to eat something. Remember, food is a type of good. So we have food. Food is a type of good and these are all goods. Remember, goods are things that we can touch, we can hold. They are physical objects. Down here we have services, <clears throat> and we have pictures for different types of services. This person is delivering mail. So 
what do we call this person? We call this person a mail carrier. Mail carriers provide a service. This person here, uh, perhaps you see this type of person every day. If you ride a bus, right, they are driving a bus to your school. So, of course, we call them a bus driver. Drives a bus, he is a bus driver. This person here, you find this person in a hospital. They will take care of you. If you are sick or injured, they will make you feel better. They, of course, are called doctors. A doctor. They will provide a service. This person here, when your hair gets too long, what do you do? You have to cut it. But don't cut it yourself, right? You'll have a very strange hairstyle, right? You have to go to somebody else who will cut it for you and make it look nice. So we call these people hairstylists. Hairstylist. Okay, so we have a good chart here. Goods, remember, goods are things, objects, physical things you can touch, you can hold. Services, you can't touch them, you can't hold them, but they are work that other people do for you. Both, of course, are very important for us. We have wants, things that we want, we have things that we need, things that we need in order to live, and those things can be goods or they can be services. Now, what can we do with those? Of course, we can buy them, we can sell them, or we can trade them. So these are all things that we can do with goods and services. So it's a very interesting unit, a very um, a practical unit for you. Because if you think about it, this is what we do every day. And throughout your life, you're going to be using goods, you're going to be using services for things that you want or need, and you're either going to be selling them, you're going to be buying them, or you're going to be trading them. So this is a good lesson to talk about those different types of ideas. Well, that's it for this lesson. Hope you've learned a lot. I certainly had fun. I hope you did. Uh, take care, everybody. We'll see you next time.